Sir, we just had a, a meeting in the in the clubhouse and uh, brought the players up to speed on the most current information that we've been provided with by uh, from Major League Baseball, um, and that is as of today, uh, we've suspended spring training games uh, for the rest of spring training, and we know that the season will be delayed uh, at least two weeks. Um, that raises a lot of questions for all of us, and I would just say, you know, we are working hand in hand, Major League Baseball, Players Union, to try to solve over the next couple of days what will be a tremendous amount of logistical problems that arise or challenges, maybe a better word, for all of us. Um, you know, getting ready for a Major League season is a pretty carefully scripted process that we go through, and now we've all got to hit the pause button and figure out how to react to that. And um, there, isn't a, there isn't a manual for this one. So um, we're all gonna do the best things that we can do to help get prepared for the season, recognizing that there's still a lot of uncertainty around the actual timing of that. So I thought we had a you know, good dialogue with the players. Um, it's our understanding that over the next couple of days, we should expect more guidance from Major League Baseball um, and the Players Union as to how everybody feels the best way is to proceed. Are the workouts and things going to continue here or are you sending players home? So for the next couple of days, our approach is that we are going to make this facility available to the players. Um, we are going to have informal workouts. We are going to leave it up to the individual player. Um, how they want to take advantage of that opportunity. Um, a lot of guys really want to get in here and, and do things, and they, they feel comfortable here. Others right now with what's going on, you know, they may want to take some time. And so we've, we've given them the individual choice over the next couple of days. There isn't the urgency now of playing in any sort of games soon. So that's been dialed back, but it's an individual choice at this point. So we're, we're going to let them decide. Yeah, more questions than answers at this point. So we're asking for everybody's patience as we sort through it. This is happening in real time. You know, when I left here yesterday, I, I, you know, we didn't know that this would be a, a reality at this point. So we're, we're trying to sort through it. Um, we do have a lot of minor league players in camp. We have a lot of staff in camp. Um, and so there's a lot of uncertainty for everybody. Uh, we're expecting, I have a conference call in 10 minutes uh, with Major League Baseball just for baseball operations staff to start to consider those logistics and all the people that are affected. Are you sending staff members home at all or are they all staying with the staff members? Uh, so Mark asked about um, staff members. It's something we will definitely consider in light of what we just learned about the start of the season. No decisions have been made. I haven't even been back to my desk since the conference call uh, earlier with the commissioner. Um, but we will start, you know, to look at all non-essential travel being reduced as much as possible. And we also want our staff to be in the safest environment possible. Tucker's got to get it in here somehow. Do you want to make... Oh, sorry, sorry. Have you guys done any, like, testing on players at all? So what, just like with the general public, um, there is a concern about the amount of testing equipment available and so we've instructed our players just like I would with my own family if there's any reason to suspect that you have the symptoms or you for any reason feel like you are at risk we need to get you tested and we've told the players we will do everything we can to get you tested keeping in mind that blanket testing for everybody isn't practical and actually puts other people at risk so we're not encouraging just to just go out and test for the sake of testing. Uh, well, for me personally, I mean, it's unlike anything that I can ever, ever remember that I've been through. Um, I think collectively as a group, we're all we're all bummed because we want to play. And uh, 
we know how good our team's going to be, and we want to get out there and, and get going. But I think now it's much bigger than baseball. Um, it's more about the care for the individuals here, myself included, and our families. Um, and I think that the um, the organization as a whole is doing a phenomenal job of keeping us updated uh, with information that, that, that comes out um, and keeping us um, keeping our best interest uh, and our families uh, at heart. Personally, will you go home? Well, I've been instructed to to um, to remain in Arizona until they come to a decision. They, meaning the Players Association and uh, Mr. Manfred, um, as far as steps kind of moving forward. Um, so I will remain here until until I'm told or given a little bit more clear information or clear vision on what um, the schedule looks like. Uh, and then after that, I think uh for me personally i'll probably go home and spend time with my family as much as possible and uh take care of them and help her help take care of them as much as possible Tucker, this kind of this time of year kind of comes with its own rhythm and pace and routine it's often shot to hell by this do, do you is that a big deal for you mentally i mean you're at a certain place now and maybe you're getting out of it and then all of a sudden you got to start all over again yeah i definitely think it's something to think about um the we, we are such a routine driven uh we're in such a routine driven profession that that it kind of throws that a little bit um but this is a game the old adage that this is a game of adjustments so it's just another thing kind of thrown in there that we have to adjust and, and and get ready to play a season so you know i think that it's something that each each one of us will um kind of go about a little bit differently uh, how they how they take these next uh few days before we find out a little bit more information in the two week uh uh, suspension of the season or, or, or hold up of the season. I think everybody will kind of approach it a little bit differently. Myself, I'm not exactly sure what I'll do. Um, I haven't really thought that much ahead since we just got out of the meeting a couple minutes ago. It's kind of all fresh and new and I don't want to jump to any conclusions currently. But um, like I said, I think it'll be something that everybody kind of ad attacks a little bit differently. But I think uh, come hopefully April 9th when uh, opening day comes, that everybody will be, uh, will be ready to go and hopefully we can get out there and play then. Yeah, I, you know, for me, it's just kind of. I always felt like I'm a clean guy, and I kind of take take pride in my my hygiene, I guess. And my family does the same. My wife's pregnant, and I have a two year old, so it, it kind of brings everything into perspective, maybe a little bit more than if I wasn't in that situation. Uh, but you just, for me, it's just hand sanitizer a little bit more. Wash, make sure that I'm washing my hands kind of religiously. My hands are really dry because of all of it. <laughs> but um, you know, I, you just kind of kind of put your 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 guard of as much as possible for me and uh, just make sure that my family's good and take care of myself kind of after that you get a sense that this was coming just after NBA did what they did yesterday. yeah it, it 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 seemed it it seemed it for sure um it's funny before all the NBA stuff went on last night my wife and I were were, were talking about how to go about my my son and her getting out of town uh, heading back to Indianapolis before the season started, and we talked about just kind of maybe getting out before even more stuff happened because it seems like it's starting to snowball. And then the NBA thing happens last night. Then uh, I think La Liga I saw this morning, and then it's all kind of snowballed into what, where we are at now. Um, so it, it seemed this morning waking up that it just kind of was inevitable. It was just more of uh, not if, but when and for how long. So uh, definitely seemed that way uh, when I when I laid down last night to go to bed.